good evening you guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i want to get used to like looking straight in here instead of looking on the screen here it's just really professional when you like looking straight to the uh, uh, to the camera itself instead of like looking at yourself here but once in a while i'm gonna like keep going back and forth just like you know we are used to it as a youtuber but anyway you guys good evening and welcome back to my cooking channel if you're new here my name is abby and this is my home my cooking channel i share recipes on what i cook for my family Honestly, I take that back. It's not only recipes cook with me that I do here. I do some other things here. If you follow me from the beginning, you know that I do some other things here like um, shower routine, uh, cook with me, clean with me, all of that. But ever since we are planning to move to our new house, I have taken out the cleaning videos just because my house right now when something is cluttered i feel like it's cl it's not cluttered i feel like everything i have in th in this apartment is what i need but um it's just very hard to move things together this apartment is too small for what we have here so it's just very very hard to pull things away when you're like trying to clean and placing the camera so that's why i don't do the cleaning anymore it's just really hard to like film uh cleaning videos but i promise when i move to this to my new house this channel is gonna have clean with me every time uh, daily routine cleaning uh, weekly cleaning uh, everything and I'm gonna be documenting everything so please you guys if you're new here subscribe but for now we're gonna be doing uh, grocery shopping school with, cook with me um, dinner cook with me breakfast eat with me story time goodness is on this channel the last video I uploaded probably a couple videos um, already came after that because my videos are not usually um, on time they're like three four days old but the last video I uploaded yesterday so much love oh my god I posted my cargo from Nigeria receiving my cargo and unboxing with you guys you guys show so much love and support I really really appreciate we have new people in the house thank you guys so so much I'm just very overwhelmed because this is my second channel well I take that back my third channel so um it's my third main channel and I just here I do cooking um, I have so much love for my family so I'm always like in the kitchen cleaning and organizing and cooking so and I want to share that with other mommies you don't even have to be mommies it can be anybody anywhere part of the world that you're watching from I don't care who you are I don't have to be mommies honestly cooking needs motivations because it takes a lot and also I work in a shelter as a cook so I'm just always cooking and I never ever get tired of it the only thing i get tired of is when i don't know what to cook so anyway i feel like i'm talking a lot so i'm going to be carrying you guys um today cook clean organize um yeah just do some little little things in the kitchen today's um i don't know what i'm cooking yet i have two things in mind um, i want to cook like native rice i don't know what is it with the cravings i'm having these days so i'm not pregnant but i'm having these cravings like um you know when you use palm oil to cook the rice my friend told you cooked it for me one time and trust me i told her i don't like palm oil in rice but when i tasted it i loved it i love it so much so i am craving for that and i'm going to create that today i'm hoping it can turn out well otherwise my kids and that's another thing my kids um have they haven't tried it yet this is going to be their first time uh, I, I also don't want to like risk that because if i 
cook it and I don't like it, that means I'm gonna be the only one to finish eating it. We'll see. I don't know what to decide yet, but whatever. I might decide to like just put the meat, two of the rice, jollof rice and the native rice, just kind of like create my own thing. So it will taste like native rice and it will also taste like jollof rice. We'll see. But anyway, join me in the kitchen tonight and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new, thumbs up, share, all of that goodness. Okay, you guys, so this is my goat meat. I am Papa. <coughs> Excuse me. I am cooking some goat meat and Papa in it first. I cleaned it with vinegar and lime juice and salt already also you guys know i always like to like pop oil it um i'm gonna drain the water you see all those brownish water over there of the juices i don't like that in my meat so that's why i like to take those out first and then i'll put the fresh water again to cook the goat meat so yeah that's what i'm doing and over here i set up this so i can show you guys what i'm using for my native rice so i've decided i'm gonna be making native jollof rice so it's still jollof rice but it's called native jollof rice so it's different from the other one this one you cook it with fish and um all this stuff that i listed here you don't have to have everything but fish is a must and um crayfish this is a whole crayfish i have some ginger and um onions i'm gonna blend this i'm gonna add it into the goat meat actually and i'm gonna be slicing some onions for later and i have um some prawns here this is shrimps fresh shrimps and this is fish oh this fish i like the best so delicious and i have a whole um pepper here i also have this is bell pepper but the one from nigeria the hydrated one i have to have them in water so they can soak i love when this is blended i love the texture of it and i'm gonna add fresh ones i'm gonna be blending it together i'm gonna show you guys the fresh ones are um in my fridge i'll bring them out and i'll be blending it with this i just want this to get softened a little bit i'm gonna add this um into microwave i'm gonna put it on for about four five minutes so yeah it's gonna uh, heat up and then get softened up sorry I thought I was recording I added some water I drained out the um, dirty water from the goat's meat so I added fresh water and I also added salt I thought I was recording I was not recording I'm so sorry so I added salt I like to season my goat's meat properly so I don't have to use too much seasoning in the stew or whatever that I'm cooking it using it to cook um, and I'm also going to be adding um, some granulated um, seasoning so like I said, I like to season this properly in the actual meat in the sauce. So yeah, and I'm also I'm also gonna be adding these um, blended uh, ginger and onions. this cook this is gonna cook for the next probably one and a half hour all right you guys so I cleaned out my shrimps 
the dry crayfish, you will call it. Sorry about the noise, it's my microwave, and I'm frying some fish. <coughs> Excuse me. So I cleaned out the um, the crayfish or dry shrimp, you will call it, and you want to make sure that you clean this out because if you don't clean it, you're going to end up with like a lot of garbage that just threw out. <coughs> So you have to make sure you clean it out. I took out the eggs, the, uh, some of the shell, and this is what it's left with. So I'm gonna set this on the side. All right, you guys, so I have the bell peppers here and I also have some garlic and ginger here. So I'm gonna be blending these. I actually need to add two scotch pepper into it. So, or maybe one scotch pepper because Nigerian bell pepper, it's really, really spicy. So I am going to just try to add one scotch pepper to blend this together and onions that's what i'm going to blend now you guys i am going to be blending so i added the dry pepper first i already microwave it so it's soft and i am going to be adding the fresh bell pepper I am not using tomatoes. Um, just cutting the onions. And that's all I'm gonna be adding in here. I also added ginger, sorry. I also added ginger and garlic. All right, you guys. So I am going to um, start cooking the um, native rice and just cutting some onions because this rice if you don't have onions in there a lot of onions the taste won't be like it won't taste like native rice we want it to be that traditional native rice Half of it is like almost fill up in this bowl, so I don't need a lot of it. And it's so strong going to my eye. So right here. I wanna share something with you guys and I'm not promoting this company. I don't even know them, they never reach out to me. This is just my own thing. I've always buy all kinds of different oil. I just pick, when I go to grocery store, like African grocery store, I just picked random oil without even looking at, you know, just looking at detail, just palm oil is palm oil. So my friend Tony told me, when she came here to cook with me, she was like, Happy, what kind of palm oil is this? And I said, it's just palm oil. So she said, no, buy Banga palm oil. You don't even have to like, you know, put it under hot water before it can give you that, um, you know, that good looking oil. And this is, I got this like two weeks ago and look at it. And it's like, it never sleeps. We call it sleep, like also like, it never like steep together it just loose and it's very very pure so yeah it's banga um, red palm oil I think it's more expensive than all these ones but it's real really good palm oil I don't mind paying a little bit dollar for something great for me so um, ever since I was gonna put this on that hot water just for it to melt and I remember oh I bought this couple um, weeks ago but I'm not gonna throw this out but I want this native rice to taste really good so that's why I am going to use this palm oil So I'm frying the onions and the oil together. So this way, I didn't fry the onion, sorry. I didn't fry the palm oil first. So I added the two almost the same time. I just let the oil 
um, heat up a little bit and I added the, uh, the onions. So I'm going to fry them together. And so I'm going to be adding my blended um, peppers and onions and ginger. Alright, so I am going to be adding a few fish. I feel like I need to break this fish down more. So this is the uh, fish I showed you guys earlier. And that's the dry fish. I'll be adding some stock powder. The granulated stock. Oh, um, a lot of seasoning because the fish already has lots of seasoning in it. And I'm also going to be adding some salt. And I'm going to be adding the crayfish or dry shrimp, you will call it. Because it's really hard, it's really dry. So I wanted to like start getting soft enough in there. I'm going to allow this to cook together. Right, you guys I think I shared this in one of my uh, cooking video one time this is locust beans it's gonna be going with this recipe today well kind of recipe and cook with me so I added some in the water so this was one of the items my mom sent to me from Nigeria it's called Iru in my native language it's called Iru Yoruba calls it Iru and this is called locust beans so I added some because it's already dry out and dehydrated from Nigeria so I'm going to be adding it into my microwave for about three minutes to soften up because it's really hard and it will not soften up in the um, stew. So I'm going to cover this and put three minutes and it will be ready and I will add it in the stew. Alright you guys, I'm back again here and I'm going to be blending peppers for the meat that I was boiling earlier. Sorry, I feel like you guys can see my face. The meat I was uh, cooking earlier, the first, you guys know. So I am going to cook that meat. I am not um, adding it to the native rice or anything. I just want to cook it separately. So when I'm back to work on the weekend, because it's my day off. So when I'm back to work, my kids have food in the fridge. So um, this is multi and this is pasta sauce. It's, um, it's already seasoned pasta sauce. I like to use this instead of like um, tomato paste or whole tomato can and I like the preservations in the bottle than the cans ones and I also chopped more bell pepper honestly if you are um, if you're Nigerian Ghanaian and I think some other countries to African countries they use a lot of bell pepper I use a lot of bell pepper in my food so I'm always like when I go to the grocery store I always get like the boxes and stock it in my freezer so yeah um, I'm also going to be adding some scotch peppers which is this I have some fresh tomatoes in the fridge and they are going kind of like bad. I don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to be blending it with this whole thing. I'm not going to use all of this since I have fresh tomatoes. And I also have onions here. And I'm going to add some uh, ginger and garlic into here. So I'm just going to add it into my blender. And this is what I'm going to use to cook my meat and the fried fish. I was like, I know I have a leftover in the fridge, so I'm gonna be using my leftover because it's a big bottle and I can't finish one at a time. It's just way too much. So I'm just gonna add, yeah, that is good. I'm not even gonna finish it. So I'm gonna add the rest, put the rest in the fridge. So, uh, you guys, I am going to. This is already. This is ready right now. I'm gonna add it. You don't have to add iru if you don't want to. It's totally optional. 
I just want it. My cravings is just that. My kids, I call it chocolate for them to, before they can eat it. Last time I used it in my um, Ephoria roll, I told them this is chocolate. So yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. Some crayfish, and this crayfish already has spice in it. So I know I'm not gonna use too much of it. So just a few crayfish to mix this. Alright, so I am going to be adding my rice. I washed this rice more than 10 times just because I really want to get all this stash out. So I'm just adding it into my stew. And I'm going to give it a good stir together. This, one thing about me is I like to taste my rice the way it is. It will tell me how it's going to taste when it's ready. So what I usually do is I'll just take a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll just take a little bit and give, me, and give it a taste to know how it's going to be when it's ready. I don't have to add any seasoning anymore. I needed to spit that out because it's a dry rice, so I spit it out. So yeah, I feel like it's perfectly uh, good. I'm going to be cooking these on, on simmer. I'm going to turn on the heat. Of course, this water, uh, it's not going to cook it. It's going to be hard. So what I'm going to do, the flavor of the meat in there. the water that I know it's gonna be enough for it to cook and I am going to just gently mix it not so much and I'm going to cover this my shrimp right here I'm going to add a little bit of salt and Maggi into it like that and I'm gently gonna add salt into it You can add chili flakes if you want, but I have enough chili in the stew, so I'm just gonna let this sit on the side like this. You guys, I have all this mess right here, including this. I am gonna try to clean everything up in one, two, three. So yeah, this is clean. It's clean now, so that means I have a lot of space to continue with the run two. So. So I have um, my oil here and I'm going to start cooking the meat and stew and my rice. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's not so good, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to deal with this after, I need to focus on this stew right now. I'm going to add some onions, so good now. So. And I'm going to add the shrimp even though there's water there. I'm now frying the shrimp. It will taste just as fine because I want the shrimp to be, I don't want it to be dry. I want it to be nice and fluffy. Sorry. I want the shrimp to be nice and fluffy. I don't want it to be like chewy. So I just want to like leave it in there like that. Just try to mix it properly. And <clears throat> so it will be nice and fluffy when we're eating it and I'll just cover it for the last time to like steam together oh, it tastes so good and the onions is looking really good I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the sauce now some crayfish. I love crayfish in my stew. 
a lot you guys know you follow me from a while you know that I cook I use crayfish a lot so I'm gonna add some in there and I am going to add my seasoning is ready I'm gonna show you guys in a minute well does it taste good yes it does taste divine oh my god this is my first attempt and I really really like it Mm -hmm. oh my god you guys this is it absolutely delicious oh my goodness yes Hey you guys, sorry I couldn't talk while I was putting this meat in here. So I just added the, let me show you guys properly. I just added the meat here. I was just on the call. I was just on the call, important call, really quick. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to let this cook together. And this still should be ready. Yeah. splash or anything I can just use it to wipe it but this kitchen is not looking good so I'm just gonna sweep it and wipe down really quick and quickly give it a mop while it's still is still on the stove it will be ready any minute all right you guys i want to show you guys my rice this is the rice this is the native um rice it's absolutely delicious it turns out really good for my first attempt like i'm so proud of myself like i just love the smell love the taste love everything about this rice and also i have this still here sorry <laughs> i have the still here and it turns out really good as well um yeah i know some of you guys will say the oil is too much i'm gonna drain some of that oil later but um, yeah, this is the steel, absolutely delicious. Let me just want to mix this for you guys to see. Ooh, like, like this is how Nigerian, this is how we cook our steel. Um, 
we use lots of meat, fish, varieties of different kind of fish, and um, yeah, this is how we cook our stew. If you're Nigerian, you can relate, you can try it, even if you're not Nigeria. You can follow the step as I make it. You would definitely love it and you will enjoy it. It's really delicious. My kids can eat this with anything, with bread, with rice, with yam, potatoes. Um, they can eat it with anything they want. And it lasts when there's this kind of stew in my house, we have food in the house. So yeah, that is all of it. That is pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share these videos to friends and family. Um, all right, you guys, sorry. I just need to like look at you guys and end this vlog. I am so excited that I took you guys along. It's my first ever attempt making um, native rice. And I cannot explain how this rice turns out. It's so good. I'm like, why didn't I make it for a long time? But now I am going to add it to my uh, menu. I'm going to be making it all the time. Especially I have all the um, ingredients in the house so there's no reason not to make it and I love it so much. I even, I'll say I love it more than jello fries but I don't want to say that yet. I'm saying that because I've ate jello fries many many times but anyway you guys I really appreciate it, you guys. Sorry I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Thank you for your love. You guys motivate me to keep cooking here, sharing my cooking and recipes and everything like that that I share on here. Thank you guys. Don't forget to follow me on my vlog channel please. That's where you will see more of my family, my kids, everybody. So please, please follow me on my blog channel. I have a main channel that I post recipe, uh, remedies for our health, women health. Please, please follow me on all my channels. I will link them in the comment section. I love you guys so, so much. I can't wait to feed my family tonight. Bye, and don't forget to subscribe. I don't know if I said that. Subscribe, please. Right here, it's right here, so, so please subscribe. I love you. Bye!